Now, just like that, I've been able to DOS a network by using packets captured off the network and sending manipulated or forged packets back into the network. It's amazing what you'll be able to do if you know how to code in Python, if you understand how networks work. Combining knowledge of those two areas will make you very, very powerful or very, very scary, depending on what you do. Don't use this for malicious purposes. Use your power for good. Don't go out there and break networks and get into trouble. Use what I'm showing you here, the power of Python, power of understanding of networks to do good, to protect companies rather than destroy them. But I wanna show you in this video how a very simple script can break a network. Now, before we continue, if you enjoy these types of hacking videos, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please like this video and click on the bell to get notifications. That really does help me with the YouTube robots, allows me to create more content like this. I'm starting a series of videos where I'm gonna show you how easy it is to hack networks using Python. To help us do that, we're gonna use Scapy or Scapy if you prefer, but I'm gonna call this Scapy. On the Scapy website, they say that Scapy is a powerful interactive packet manipulation program. It allows you to forge or decode packets of a wide range of protocols. There's a whole bunch of stuff that you can do with Scapy. I wanna make this as interesting as I can. And to help demonstrate that, I've got the following network. I have three Cisco switches. I've also got two MacBooks. First MacBook is the MacBook in front of me. MacBook is connected to the 3560 CX switch, which is the switch on the bottom in this topology. I'm running Kali within a virtual machine on my Windows computer, and it's also connected to a 3560. So this Windows computer over here is running Kali within a virtual machine. If you wanna see how to set that up, have a look at this video where I show you how to download Kali and install it within VMware Workstation Player on Windows. I typically use a virtual machine on Windows just to make it more accessible to more people. If you wanna run Kali natively, you could do that. I've also got another Windows computer, which is behind me, so Windows laptop behind me. So what I'm gonna be doing is using Kali to sniff traffic from the network and to inject packets and frames into the network. So we're basically going to inject stuff into the network. We're gonna forge packets, forge frames, and send them into the network to break the network. In this first example, I'll show you how I can break spanning tree protocol or STP, which is used in a lot of corporate environments to stop loops. If you wanna be a good ethical hacker, it helps to have an understanding of networking. So go and get your Network Plus certification or CCNA. Do something that gives you a good understanding of networking because if you understand networking, you'll see that it's very, very easy to break networks if they're not configured properly. If you're a network engineer, I'm hopefully gonna to demonstrate to you why you should enable or configure your networks properly, why you should run RootGuard as an example, why you don't wanna accept BPDUs from any device on the network. You need to configure your network with security in mind. Okay, so I'm gonna demonstrate a little bit about Scapy, and then I'll show you how you can capture packets off the wire, manipulate them and send them into the network to break the network. So on my Kali or Kali Linux VM, I'm going to open up a terminal. I'm gonna start Python 3. Scapy is installed by default on Kali. That makes life a lot easier. Here's a very basic script. I'm going to import Scapy into Python. And then what I can do is sniff for a packet off the wire. Now I've put links to all these scripts on GitHub. So use the link below if you wanna download these scripts or get access to them. They're on my GitHub page. So I'll paste that command in, sniff, and we are sniffing the well-known MAC address for spanning tree. And notice I get permission error, operation not permitted. And that's because I should have used sudo python3. So sudo python3, put in my password. Okay, so try that again, import scapy. And then we wanna capture traffic to this well-known MAC address and store that in a variable. Okay, so that's now been done. So now we can view the captured packet. If 
by simply using the command packet zero. Now I only captured one packet or one frame in this example. If I captured two, I could use one here rather than zero to see the second packet or second frame if you want to be specific. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Not very easy to read. So what we can do is use the show command to show the information nicely. So packet zero show. And there you go. I can see that the frame that was captured, it's an 802.3 frame. In other words, it's ethernet. Destination MAC address is this. Source MAC address is this. We can see link layer control information. But what's important is the spanning tree part. That's what we're interested in. You can see the root ID is this. The root has this MAC address. The switch that sent the message was this switch. You can see information such as the port ID and other information. So basically what we've done now is we have captured a packet off the wire and we can view the output. Now you could, as an example, go through the different layers by using packet zero, first packet that was captured, and first layer. That shows us exactly the same information. If I wanna see layer one, that shows me that. Or if I wanna see layer two in the output, I see that. So I only see spanning tree information. Or rather than doing it that way, I could simply specify STP. So only show me the STP information. So just by using two lines of code, importing scape into Python and specifying what I wanna view, I've been able to capture spanning tree frames off the wire and I can interrogate that. I can see what's going on. But now let me show you how I can leverage that to break the network. So what I'm gonna do is capture the frame off the wire but then I'm going to manipulate things. So I'm going to change the packet path cost to this. The bridge MAC, I'm gonna to change to the root MAC. So it's as if the spanning tree root is sending messages to the switch. The switch that advertised this frame is not the root switch. It's the 3560 switch in my topology who's not the root. The root is one of the other switches. But what I could do is block the connection to the root so on the 3560 show spanning tree, I can see that its root port is gigabit 02, which is the connection to the 2960 switch. So the 2960 switch is the root in this topology, not the switch I'm connected to. Now what we're gonna do with this first script is capture spanning tree frames. And then what I'm gonna do is block the port to the root switch by setting the cost to the root to zero. So basically, this switch here is gonna think that it's got a better path to the root switch via the Kali virtual machine rather than its actual root port. So the root port on this switch is this port, this switch is the root bridge, but we're going to tell the switch that the best way to get to the root is via us. And we can do that by manipulating the cost. The switch sees the cost to the root switch as four but we're going to change the cost to zero. We're going to change the advertising bridge MAC address to the root switch. So basically, this switch is gonna think that this is the best port to use to get to the root switch, rather than this port. Once again, show spanning tree on the switch. Its root port is gigabit 02, which is the port to the 2960. We're gonna change that to gigabit 05 which is currently a designated port, but we're gonna make that the root port. And that will basically do a denial of service attack against the MacBook. So rather than this MacBook being able to ping this MacBook, traffic is gonna be sent to us rather than to this MacBook. So we could, for instance, capture that traffic and do something with it. But for this basic demonstration, I'm just gonna show you how to destroy the network. Okay, MacBook One has this IP address, 10.1.1.10. Can it ping MacBook Two which has this IP address, 10.1.1.1. I know that already, but just to show it here, MacBook 2 has this IP address, 10.1.1.1. Let's see if we can break the network. So pings are currently succeeding. MacBook 1 can ping MacBook 2. Okay, so on our Kali machine, we're importing Scapy. We're gonna capture a spanning tree BPDU. We're gonna set the path cost to zero. We're gonna set the bridge MAC address to the root MAC address. We're gonna set the port ID to one. 
we're going to send multiple BPDUs into the network. So we'll send a BPDU that's manipulated. We'll wait a second. And what I'll do actually is put the timer here. So we'll send a packet into the network. We'll wait a second and then we'll loop round. So I'll copy that simple script. Now notice the script is very small. It's less than 10 lines of code. Most of it is comments, but very basic script. What I'll do is quit Python here. So I'm in the Kali shell and I'll type nano stp hack root port dot py and I'll paste that script in. Control X, save that. So now if I run Python 3 and I need to use sudo, so sudo python3 stp hack root port. Currently, this Mac can ping the other Mac, but if I run that, we've captured a frame, packet has been sent into the network, notice pings are timing out. I've dosed this network or I've created a denial of service attack against this network. Pings are timing out. If I look at the console, of the switch. Previously, its root port was gigabit 02. Now, it's gigabit 05. In other words, this port. We have made the root port of the switch us. We've become the root port. The port to the root bridge has been blocked. You can see here it says alternate blocking. We've essentially used spanning tree against itself. Captured a packet off the wire, changed a few values, sent it back into the network and dust the network basically. Spanning tree is blocking the right port and we are getting all traffic to come to us. Now that timed out, notice the root port is back to gigabit 02. So pings are succeeding once again. Let me run that script again. I was a bit slow there. So pings have started to time out again. And on the Kali virtual machine, if I ran Wireshark, and searched for ICMP, you'll notice that I see ICMP echo messages from 10.1.1.10 to 10.1.1.1. I'm capturing packets from the MacBook. It can't send traffic to the other device because I'm blocking the port. So again, that's what it looked like previously. Now the root port is us. I'll make that longer because it times out as I'm speaking to you. So running that again, root port was gigabit 02. You can see it's listening at this point. It was forwarding as it's trying to learn where the root bridge is, but now it's blocking. So I've basically used spanning tree against itself to DOS the network. And this script is less than 10 lines of code. If you know Python, if you know how networks work, it's amazing what you can accomplish. Simple script with an understanding of networking makes you very dangerous or very powerful. Please only use this for good. Do not use these scripts for malicious purposes. I own this network. I'm testing this on my own network. Make sure that you understand how networks work. Make sure that you understand how to protect them because a simple script like this can break an entire network. Now, once again, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please like this video and click on the bell to get notifications. I'm David Bomble, and I want to wish you all the very best. Only use this for good, not for bad.